This tech tip will cover how ATI's vision calibration and data acquisition software allows users to select and export desired data to a new data file via the Vision Rec Viewer or Vision Data Analyzer. Within the Vision Rec Viewer, the Partial Recorder File Export function enables exporting a portion of a recording file to ASCII, MATLAB, HDF, Calvin, or Vision Recorder File format. It can also be used for a single recorder file or a recorder file containing overlay files, which enables defining the recorder time range and data items independently of each other. This capability allows for a greater customization of the resulting partial recorder file. To access the partial export settings, right-click within the Open Recorder File graph area graph legend, or data item list, and select export items from the context menu. Then, under file name, click the ellipsis button to browse the file location path and select a file name. Range options. Data exports the full extent of the recording data within the graph. Visible. Export is limited to the current visible trace graph page extents. Cursors. Export is limited to the data with the current graph cursor position. Data item options. All exports all trace items in recorder files regardless of traces visibility state or presence within the graph. All on page exports trace items added to the legends regardless of trace visibility status. All other trace items are discarded. Visible only. Export only items currently visible in any graph on the current trace page. Items listed in the graph legend but hidden in the graph are discarded from the partial recorder file. There are several things to consider when doing partial recorder file exporting in Vision. When exporting graphs containing overlay files, time is based on original recorder file, not the overlaid files. If the overlay file is offset from the original file time, Offset is preserved in the exported files. Exported time values from the original recorder file are preserved, and data extents include time zero, even when the selected range does not. This may result in data not being visible. Use the zoom in command to view any detail in the exported data. Each trace item is exported once, regardless of the number of graph legends or graphs the trace may appear on in the current trace page. Data is exported relative to the first file time values and offset is preserved. Finally, and most importantly, Vision displays a warning in the Export Results dialog when exporting trace items with less than two samples. Turn on point display to view trace items with only one sample. Items that have no samples in the defined export range are not exported. Clicking Next opens the Export Choose Format dialog window. When accessing Export Choose Format via this window, the Partial Rec File option appears in the Format drop-down list. This option allows users to export selected data to a new rec file. Users also have the option to export to other file formats should they choose to do so. Vision Data Analyzer MF4 Viewer The Vision Data Analyzer export window allows configuring a time range and items based on the traces state to export to an ASCII, MDF4, MATLAB, and Vision Data Analyzer project format. To begin the export process, select a trace or traces and go to File, then Export Items in the menu. Or, right-click on the traces within the legend, Data Item List, or Graph, and select Export Items from the context menu. The time range options available are as follows. Time range of selected traces. Time range is defined by the selected traces. Time range of graph uses graph's visible x-axis limits as time range. Time range between cursors uses time range between data cursors. The data item options available are as follows. Visible traces. Visible traces checked within the active page are exported. Visible and hidden traces. 
exports all traces in the page regardless of trace visibility state. All items from associated files exports all traces from the graph's associated data source file. Clicking OK opens the Export Data to File dialog window. When the Export Data to File window is accessed, the MDF Exporter option appears in the Export to drop-down list. This option allows users to export the selected data to a new MDF file. Users also have the option to export to other file formats should they choose to do so. The Data tab contains two data item list boxes, Available Items and Exported Items. Traces are added or removed from columns using the arrow buttons located between the columns. Available Items column. Traces to add to the Exported Items column. Exported Items column. Traces for exporting. First right arrow. Add selected trace items to Available Items list to the Exported Items list. Second right arrow. Adds all trace items in the Available Items list to the Exported Items list. First left arrow. Removes selected trace items from the Exported Items list and adds them to the Available Items list. Second left arrow. Removes all trace items from the Exported Items list and adds them to the Available Items list. Move Up, Move Down, Sort buttons configures the order the traces are saved in the file.